Hello, and welcome to Said Commerce. This is Walmart Shopify API Guiding Tour, and in this tour I would be helping you to configure your APIs and importing products. So, let's get started. First of all, open Shopify App Store. Then, search for Walmart and select the app developed by Said Commerce. Further, click on Get button. So, you will be redirected to a new page, wherein you can check the details by clicking on View Details, and to proceed with installation, you need to click on Install App button. So, moving on to step number one, that is registration. Fill up your first name, last name, legal company name, DBA seller store name, mobile number, email ID, annual revenue, and your website URL. Further, enter your Amazon URL, or specify NA if not applicable. Then provide your job title. Specify your shipping source. Estimated number of SKUs. Specify your company address. Fill in your country. Further, please make a note that, if you are from country other than US, then, specify, whether you have a valid tax ID, or W-9 form. Second, whether or not, do you have a warehouse in USA. Then, provide up your, categories that your store deals in. Specify, are you already selling on Walmart? Further, Specify have you contacted Walmart Marketplace before. Specify are you approved by Walmart to sell on Marketplace? And just share how do you came to know about us. Further, just confirm the agreement and click Next. Now, you have reached step number two. Now, Enter Walmart Consumer ID and Walmart Secret Key in the fields. So, in order to get the details, open up your Walmart Seller Portal. Click on Settings icon, further navigate to API section. So, here are your Consumer ID and Secret Keys. Copy Consumer ID and generate Secret Key by clicking the button. Further, confirm yes, when asked to regenerate a key. Now, copy your secret key. And finally paste it to the respective fields. Having done that, enter your Skype ID, and then click Next button. But, if you get an error, try fixing it by re-entering, or cross-checking the consumer ID and secret keys. Fixing that, you would be redirected to step number three. That is, importing products. So, importing products gives you two options. First, either you could import all of the products, irrespective whether they are available or unavailable for sale on your Shopify store. Second, you could import only published products, that is the products that are available for sale on your Shopify store. Here I am selecting all products for demonstration purpose. Now, while proceeding with that, we would be able to see the details such as total products getting imported, products not having SKUs, products having duplicate SKUs and products not having product types. So, here in this demonstration, I would be showing you how to fix products having duplicate SKU. To do that click on View Link. So here is the product having duplicate SKU, and in order to edit it, navigate to SKU section, click on it, and edit the SKU. Finally, click on Save Changes. Now, reload the page and select the same option, and here you can check that the concern has been resolved.
So, now click on Start Import. Import process may take some time, and finally on completion you would be getting a confirmation. Finally click Next. Now, as all of our products have got imported to the app, now it's time to map their category, and this is step number 4. So, category mapping is a crucial step, as it lists the product in Manage Product Grid of the app. Help button on the top may be checked up for taking a reference. Tax code may be provided in three ways that are First, either by defining them globally from configuration settings. Second, by defining them category-wise. And third, by individually for each product. So, you may choose whatever suits you best. Now, coming back to category mapping step. Further, clicking onto the link, click here to get tax code. We would be redirected to Walmart tax code page. Now, here enter the name, to filter it by category. And then press, enter. So, copy the respective tax code for the category and then paste it. Further, map your categories with respective Walmart category name. Match the subcategories accordingly, and after doing so, click on, next button. Now, you are on to the final step, that is, attribute mapping. And please note, attribute mapping is only required if we are uploading variant products. So, we can map accordingly Walmart attributes with Shopify options. You can also specify the value that you have to map with Walmart's attribute. So finally click Next and you are done. So here is the dashboard of app and a dashboard guiding tool has been provided for easy understanding. You may click next to take the tour, or you may also press skip button anytime to terminate the tour. The above section shows data related to sales, on weekly, monthly, and total sales. The subsequent section shows details related to product and order information, and finally, if at any time you want to run the dashboard guiding tour, click on the drop down and select Quick Tour. So, by this we have reached the end of briefing tour. But still, if you face any issue connect back to us on 888 Thanks for trusting Sabe Commerce. This video was brought to you by Said Commerce Incorporation.